Most of us might think that artificial intelligence is the future, but it's actually currently our reality. It touches upon a lot of our lives, the way we think, the way we decide things, targeted ads, the way you Google, everything that you do has AI involved in it. When you're on Google and it's finishing your sentence, that's artificial intelligence. When you pull up Instagram or Snapchat and you do the cool face filters that make you look like a bunny, that's also artificial intelligence. It is in every aspect of our life, from our smartwatches to our ride-hailing apps to our voice agents, and 50% of the world's population is female. Consequently, 50% of the workforce building these technologies should be women so that we can better serve the needs of the entire human population. Artificial intelligence systems learn, and when you're learning, you can only learn what you're being what you're being taught. And if you're not taught the right things, then you're going to have a certain behavior. We need girls to pursue AI as a career such that they can create those algorithms that come from different thought processes. What we don't want to do is have people from one particular group or another program in their own biases into those algorithms. So we need to have people with lots of different backgrounds. An algorithm is a set of lines of code that are designed to either create an output or make a decision or perform some sort of task. A data set is often what you give to the algorithm to help it create that output or make that decision or perform that task. And so because these algorithms are becoming more pervasive in our lives, it's really important that we think very carefully about the data that has been used to train them and making sure they're balanced, making sure they're unbiased. A data set that just equally and accurately depicts all people, all walks of life, all races, genders, you know, sexual orientations, everything, so that everyone has an equal and fair chance to be represented by AI in the same situations. That's one reason why it's really important that a lot of people are involved in creating the technology, because if it's only a small group of people building for a huge population, then they're going to miss things. And, you know, we really want problems to be solved in a way that are meaningful to the people who are going to be using them. So people who are very good at empathizing with others who they've never met, I think that's one of the most important skills that an engineer can have. Girls like you would be shaping the artificial intelligence of the future. Introducing artificial intelligence um, to empathy, to happiness, to joy, to human emotions, and to guide artificial intelligence, make the decisions that a human would make is truly in the hands of young girls like you because you would be working on this 10 years down the line. It's a great time to consider a career in robotics and artificial intelligence right now because we're really at a turning point in society where we're going to start to see robots in our day-to-day -day lives and we're using already artificial intelligence in our day-to-day -day lives. So it's a really exciting field to be in because it's new and it's growing so you can really have an impact on how it's going to grow and how it's going to shape the future of society.